Hey there, YouTube friends. I am back. This will be my last COVID update. Um, I tested negative yesterday. Stayed up most of the night last night so I could work tonight. It is now Thursday. And somehow I luckily managed to work. Um, I was scheduled to work Thursday, Friday, Saturday of this week. So I only technically missed last week of work. Um, I do have some PTO, but not that much PTO. So, um, yeah, feeling much better for the most part. Cough still here and there. Congestion, of course, but I live with chronic congestion anyway from allergies. Um, this is no more congested than norm for me, usually. I mean, I feel maybe a little bit more congested than normal, but... Um, congestion is just a normal way of life. <laughs> Still, absolutely no smell. And a little bit of taste here and there. Salty, sweet, bitter. You know, if it's an extreme flavor, I can taste it. Um, but I, I just taste the attribute, not the flavor itself. So, um, some positives from COVID, if you can find any. Um, positives. So I have quit drinking so much Dr. Pepper. I was a Dr. Pepper holic before this. And I mean, I haven't even had a craving for a Dr. Pepper since I've been sick. I did try one just to see if I had any taste or whatsoever. And the, <laughs> the texture, so to speak, not so pleasant without the flavor. Um, and the other thing has to do with texture. Um, I've learned to appreciate the texture of my food because that's really all I'm getting out of it right now is texture. So those are the positives for having COVID. Um, yeah, find out who my real friends are, you know, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, you know, um, so, yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and roll another update into here, just a regular kind of update since I didn't do one on Sunday. Um, we are now at September 15th, which means we have 15 days left until we leave. Um, so, yeah, projects are kind of getting done. Not trying to start anything new until I leave. I mean, unless I run out of stuff to do. Uh, still working on the baby blanket, which is getting a little bit too big to show and just an update. I finished two hats. Um, and let's see what it's like. That's about it. I've been keeping my scraps worked up in my, as I've been getting scraps um, for my scrap blanket. Um, but, um, I was working on the community garden make along crochet along thing and I frogged that. <laughs> I'm having such a hard time with it. I mean, crochet the C, C to C corner to corner. I can do that. That's not a problem. I did a huge afghan. Made my own pattern. And made my son an afghan. I can do that. Following other people's graphs, that's a different story. Because whereas most people start in the... That's going to be backwards to you. It's going to be the right-hand corner. <laughs> your right, my left, whatever. Um, they start in the bottom corner on the right. I start on the bottom corner on the left. Because I crochet starting my first row right side up. Maybe they start theirs right side up. I don't know. But I start in the left hand corner because I read graphs. I don't know how other people read graphs, but I read graphs left to right. <laughs> I mean, just like you read a book. Um, yeah, so. And, uh. Yeah, it's, it's creating all sorts of havoc, so I tore mine out with that, and I didn't, I didn't like the size. I wasn't even halfway done, and the sucker was already, the first block was already 15 inches. So, I may have to go down a couple of hook sizes on that, and, uh, try again. 
but I probably, I think I'm going to put that off until after I get home and maybe start with a different block. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping I've got one more hat in the works uh, that I need to finish. And that is part of the tutorial I keep talking about. I need to get the pattern actually written. I have it written, but it's, I want to kind of make it fancy so I can make a PDF out of it. Um, make it pretty and you know in case anybody wants to buy it hey you know I was just planning on giving it away free in the video but you know you know how things are it's like free in the video and if you want to support me you know go buy my my pdf without ads that kind of thing and then I have um while I've been sick you know I you can't do much while you're sick except think and sometimes you can't even think but I have an idea for another hat, um, like a beginner in the round type of hat. So, um, that way, you know, I don't know, for people who are just beginning and it, you know, won't have any, it, it's kind of modeled after the knitting machine hats that you just cinch together at the top rather than try to decrease um so i mean it would have two skills it would have the the type of cast on that i'm thinking of using and then the um just the learning how to start knitting in the round so um got some christmas ideas floating in my head for that one um, a couple of demo hats that I think might be good. So, yeah. So being sick wasn't all bad. I had time to think. <laughs> um, so, yeah. But, I mean, we've been doing a little bit of packing here and there. Sad thing is we've already got the house mostly packed. I mean... You know, we didn't have that much to begin with. The biggest part was packing my yarn that I've acquired since I've been here. I don't know how on earth I've acquired so much yarn. Considering I left most of my stuff in Missouri in a suitcase. It came with two suitcases. For yarn. And a, well, I had planned to come with two suitcases and only came with one. And a project bag that was sitting in the front seat with me. And I have amassed two plastic totes and a couple of cardboard boxes since I've been here. And, I mean, I've actually given away some stuff since I've been here. So, um, in the time, well, let's see, since I've been here, I've given away a baby blanket, getting ready to get rid of another one and hats so that's what i've gotten given away since i've been here um kept i haven't really i mean i kept a few hats um i'm not keeping keeping them i mean i'm keeping them to sell them or give them away um but yeah i just don't know you know and <laughs> peppermint twist that I started way back last December that was the only project I have left from Missouri it's still not done <laughs> it is still not done I that is I will be so glad to get it done everyone says it's so beautiful it is so beautiful but I hate working on it I hate it and I mean right now it's since it's for someone else I really don't want to work on it <laughs> And get, you know, didn't want to get all COVID germs in it and everything else. You know, I've been very careful about the projects I've chosen to work on since I've been sick. <laughs> Things that, you know, I'm sure, you know, the couple of hats that I've finished while I've been sick, um, you know, no big deal. I could throw those in the washer. I don't even know who they're for. Oh, let's see. Speaking of hats. I just, I went ahead and reached over and grabbed them. Alright, this is the first one. It's called the Coffee Bean Hat. I don't, I'm not really fond of that one. Don't really.
really care for it, but I can't give it away because the holes are too big. I mean, I can't give it to the, the um, hats for the homeless because the holes are too big in it. So it'll be probably a gift for someone. Or, I don't know, whatever. Um, I just don't care for that one. And the other one, I finished, finally finished my other Vertigo hat. I've been working on this one since, oh, before my birthday, I believe. But yeah, I really like these Vertigo hats. I'll probably keep both of the Vertigo hats for myself. Because they are so soft and I love that yarn. It's just wonderful. Um... The other thing I've been working on, the other hat, is my, um, sorry, the yarn that I bought in Vermont that is, was dyed in New Hampshire, so it's local, it was a small dyer, um, I've been working on the hat, not really much to show on it, hold on here, it's, um, I will do more details on this one later, but it's, it's that lovely purple and green and gray. So, um, I found that at a yard shop in Vermont and, um, then bought the pattern off Ravelry which I don't normally do. I don't normally buy patterns. I hate buying patterns. I just do. Um, so many free patterns out there. Why buy patterns? But, you know, sometimes you just... You see something and you think, Wow, I gotta have that. And that's what I felt about this hat. I'm like, okay, so point me in the direction of the yarn I need for this hat. Because she had a, a model in her store um, that the person who wrote the pattern had made for her to put, you know, display in her store. And, um, so, yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, local, local artist, local yard, you know, it was all, it was cool. So, um, let's see, work. I have eight shifts left. I have three this week, three next week, and two the last week. I can't even begin to imagine what it's like since I've been gone a week. Um, I was actually kind of really gone longer than that because I only worked half a shift. And I was gone a few days prior to that. So I feel like I've been gone almost two weeks. And then, then it's on to Springfield. I'm going to work a medical surgical unit, I think, when I get to Springfield. Um... We have found a place to live about three miles from the hospital. Eight minutes, three miles. Um, probably still go home on the in-between, trying to get it ready. Um, we're going to try to rent out our house while we're not living in it. We'll see how that goes. I'm not sure about if I like the idea of being homeless or not. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all my stuff. I mean, so when we get back to Missouri, I will show you my yarn stash. And then maybe, you know, I don't know. I still have oodles and gads of yarn everywhere else that my son keeps finding. So, you know, I just don't know. I don't know how I can fit all that yarn into storage. I, I, I like the idea of being a nomad and drifting from place to place, but... At the same time, I have such a ginormous yarn stash, and I hate it because I know I have all this yarn, and, you know, I'm like, oh, if I was just at home, I could go and grab this, you know, and I would, I would have it here, and I wouldn't have to buy it again because I know I have this color at home, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, I like being a free spirit, so I'm struggling with cutting the ties from home, but... You know, I don't know. I just don't know how to explain it. You know, I've enjoyed my time in Maine. I'm done with Maine. I'm ready to go, though. <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I've, I'm kind of, I've shut the door. I'm ready to go. I'm going to miss the beach. Yeah, but there's beaches other other places. 
I don't know. But anyway, um, so, sorry, I had to plug my phone in. Um, so I've rambled enough for this one, and this is enough of an update for now. Um, not sure if I'll be back on Sunday again, probably because I'm off every Sunday and Monday for this, the rest of this month. And then Sunday seems like a good day to do an update. I probably won't have a lot to share by then, but we'll see. Um, so, the formalities. If you like this channel, please give it a thumb, or give, if you like this video, thumbs up. If you, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Share these videos with your friends. I mean, not necessarily the vloggy ones, but the, um, techniques and the tutorials. Please share those with your friends. Uh, got another video coming up here before long. Um, I was tagged in a another video by another friend of mine, um, Cindy at Pups and Crochet. Please go see her. She's great. I'm going to tag her down or put her down below. So, um, she needs some watch hours. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you, and I appreciate all the concern and care that you've expressed while I've been sick. So, thanks for watching.